This reed is a bully. It's called Phragmites. This European invader has been muscling its way into wetlands across the United States. When Phragmites moves in, it drives most everything else out, says Christina Sim Cannon, a biologist at the Smithsonian Environmental Research Center. It grows much uh, larger and quicker than the native marsh grass species, and it uh, can grow in really dense stands and basically outcompete the, the native marsh grass. Some birds cannot nest in dense stands of Phragmites, and the stalks are too tough for some creatures to eat. Invasive species threaten coastal ecosystems worldwide and the clean water, food, and other benefits they provide. But some invasives have at least one redeeming quality. They gobble up planet-warming carbon dioxide. Some non-native species are actually increasing carbon storage, like Phragmites, and that they grow faster and they spread quicker. When Sim Cannon and her colleagues added up data on coastal ecosystems worldwide, they found that overall, the ones overrun by invasive species contained about 40% more carbon than intact habitats. She says they were taken by surprise. Yes, we were. <laughs> um, I think because non-native species are often thought of as being negative so often, and they do have detrimental impacts. Um, but in this case, they seem to be storing carbon quicker. To be clear, Sim Cannon is not saying it's better to let the invaders take over. But dealing with them is not always straightforward. It's complicated, um, which isn't a super satisfying answer if you want a, a direct, like, should we keep it or should we not? But um, it's the reality. And the reality is not getting any less complicated. Smithsonian research shows Phragmites will have an even bigger edge over native species as temperatures and carbon dioxide levels rise. Steve Barragona, VOA News, Edgewater, Maryland.